Georgia Senator Kelly Leffler visiting the Coastal Empire today, months before the November 3rd election, as she looks to serve the remainder of Senator Johnny Isaacson's Senate term. Our Alex Littlehales reports. The military, the main focus during Sunday's visit alongside U.S. Congressman Buddy Carter. From national to local politics, U.S. Senator Kelly Leffler stopping in Hinesville Sunday, meeting with Hinesville's mayor after a trip to Fort Stewart Army Base. What I heard really reassured me that, that they have all the uh, leadership uh, tools that they need to get us through this pandemic and maintain our military readiness. This is an important area because it leverages the, the relationships that they have uh, through the port of Savannah. The base visit coming months before the November 3rd election as Leffler vies to serve the remainder of Senate Johnny Isaacson's Senate term until 2022. As for the election, Leffler says she has no worries about COVID's impact on the voting itself. Well, I'm highly confident that our post office will get the job done as it does every election cycle, uh, absentee ballot uh, in Georgia. We can do early voting. We can vote in person. Uh, there's a range of ways to address this. And as for sweeping calls for social justice changes, Leffler weighs in on her thoughts and messages to voters. And I have spoken out against the BLM political organization because it's focused on uh, defunding the police. I think that's the wrong direction to go. I've spoken out against that, but I've spoken out in favor of real solutions that can bring help to our communities. Congressman Carter was supposed to appear alongside Senator Leffler on the Sunday, but was unable to because of a scheduling conflict. Reporting tonight, I'm Alex Little-Hales for WJCL 22 News. Back to you.